Hello, Zara, my friends. Um, after all the success of uh, the first, I bring to you part le deuxième of the pumpkin artist. Yes. Today, I bring to you my latest creation. It is um, the pumpkin of change. The pumpkin of hope. Yes. Uh, it is not just a Jack o Lantern, but a Jack Obama. I show it to you. It is right over here. But, um, yes. Now, I'm going to drop this accent because it's going to slip on me very soon if it hasn't already, and it gets kind of bothersome after a while. So, um, here it is. I don't know how well you can really see it with uh, the webcam, but uh, lighting a candle inside so it glows actually seems to have helped quite a bit. Um, now, there was a problem in making it, um, and that's this part right here. Um, it's big and it's heavy, and it doesn't have much to support it, which I would have realized if I'd taken even a moment to think about it before I started out, but I didn't because I was just excited about getting into the project. Um, now, my first attempt at stabilization involved using toothpicks as structural supports, which worked more or less, but um, it was kind of ugly. I just had these toothpicks sticking in there, and I didn't want to just leave wedges of pumpkin, because then it would start to look like teeth, and that wouldn't have been very good at all. Um, so then I thought, fishing line. Get some clear fishing line, it's strong enough to hold up. But of course that left the problem of um, anchoring the fishing line. And my first thought there was um, to use a staple, because that could be pushed into the pumpkin to form an anchor point, and it would be a hooked anchor point, so there'd be no place for it to slide off. Um, there were some problems with that design. Most notably, um, well, it can be summed up very simply in two sentences. Careful there, that's a load-bearing staple. It doesn't work so well, especially when you're trying to stick it into something as soft as a pumpkin. Um, so I ended up using the fishing line, but anchored with um, toothpicks. So the toothpicks came into it and the fishing line came into it. They just had to come into it together. Um, and I'm reasonably happy with how it came out. If you're curious how I made it, I started off by printing this monochrome version of the Obama logo. And I made a copy of it and cut it out. Now, originally, I used the pieces that I cut out from here um, and taped them over the pumpkin itself, but that didn't work so well um, because, of course, in taping them, I had to fit them to the curvature of the pumpkin, and that, of course, distorted them, and this is not as flat a pumpkin as some you may have encountered. Uh, so instead, I ended up holding the cutout over the pumpkin. I kind of taped it uh, at the top and then held it out, over, out and then traced the outline with a pencil, or actually with a pen because the pencil line didn't show up too well. And then I was able to cut it out from there. So here it is. Um, now, one thing that doesn't show up so well on the webcam, but which should be reasonably obvious, is that you've got a fair amount of open space here, and that means you can see straight through to the candle. You don't really have anything obscuring it, um, which isn't great, but uh, 
that's the way it is. Um, so we've learned something today. They may say that hope floats, but uh, when it comes to a rather large section of pumpkin, the same as can not be said. But with a bit of help backstage, it comes out reasonably well. I hope you like it. <laughs>